All right, welcome to the WP Photos onboarding. To be clear, this is for photographers, not moderators. So this is just how to take pictures and upload them and take part in the community. We're here at wordpress.org and you find the photos area under community. And here it is. And you can see we currently have 8,474 free photos. You can search them right here. And then there's a link right here to contribute. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you a few other things. Uh, notably, at the bottom, there is a frequently asked questions section. And there's great questions, but at the bottom of that is a really important part called guidelines. I don't know why we put guidelines at the bottom twice when they're important. But we want to talk about licensing. The photos you upload are licensed under Creative Commons Zero, which means you no longer retain any rights whatsoever, nor does anyone. The photo is completely free out in the wild, uh, which means you might see your photo on a billboard someday with somebody making a million dollars, or you might see it on an unsavory flyer or something. That's that's just a risk that you end up taking. I need to admit a couple more people. Um, so you have to think about that if you want your photos available for just anyone to use for just anything. There are some minimum restrictions, minimum maximum for image files. Uh, the minimum is 2,000 by 2,000 pixels, maximum 7,500 by 7,500. Basically, anything you take with a modern phone is going to fit between these. Um, if you have a super cool camera, they might be too large. If you have a very old camera, they might be too small. Uh, between 1 and 20 megabytes in size and JPEG format. So we're not taking the default format of the iPhone, and we're not taking RAW from a fancy phone or something like that. Uh, the rules are here, and we're going to see these again in a few minutes. The photo must be a photograph. No screenshots, digital art, excuse me, nothing like that. It must be high quality. Uh, we're intending for these to be used by uh, people for their websites, for, for print, and things like that. Um, don't add blur, lens flares, glare, and, and stuff like that. Um, one other thing that we might even start have to write in here. Um, try to keep them level. If there's any kind of horizon, it doesn't even have to be the sky, but like... Uh, a cityscape or a river or something. Try to keep it level so that you don't have to tilt your head to look at your picture. Um, no overlays, no watermarks, copyrights, text, graphics, borders. We haven't had anybody abuse this, but it is pretty common for people to not realize that their phone stamps a, a date and time on a bottom corner of an image or something, and they just upload it without even thinking about it. So uh, make sure your phone does not do that must not be over-processed or over-edited. They can be minimally processed. So you might brighten it a little bit or something like that, but we don't want like crazy filters from Instagram. The photo must not be a collage, just a single picture. No extreme content, family-friendly. No violence, gore, hate, sexual content, accepted, etc. cetera. Um, we have had to think carefully about this because uh, somebody uploaded some great shots of an archaeology site of 2,000-year-old skeletons that had been killed, other people had been killed. Um, is that violence? I don't know. So we take things like that uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. But in general, you know what we mean. Nothing yucky. Um, photos, photo must not be predominantly text. Uh, this is easy to fall into if you're just taking a picture of a sign or something. Um, don't do that. <laughs> don't just take a picture of a sign just for the sign's sake. Now, if it's an artistic sign, that's different. Um, one of my first submissions was the word water on the side of a water truck, but it was all rusty and patinaed, and uh, it, was, it was almost art, and it got through just fine. Um, but don't just take a picture of of a sign or something um, must not be predominantly another piece of art. And again, this is 
a bit subjective. What we don't want is for you to go to the museum and take a picture of a of a picture of a painting. Uh, don't do that. And again, the word predominant is key. What if you took a room of a whole or a picture of a whole room of pictures? Well, that works. Um, a common one is something like the big silver bean in Chicago. Everybody takes a picture of that. And sometimes that's the main thing. But there's usually people in it doing weird faces and stuff like that. <laughs> and we'll get to faces in a minute. But um, we don't we don't want you just recreating other people's art. But there are ways to take pictures of art that work. The photo must not contain faces of people. Um, this does not include things like statues. But if there's a face of a person, it doesn't work. Now, there is a level at which it is so blurry that it doesn't matter. And as moderators, one of the things we've been using as a metric is if a private investigator took this photo and ran it through professional editing stuff, could they figure out who that is? Then it's not acceptable. But we would take, say, a stadium with 100,000 people and every face is a dot. Um, we take, or I have seen them where um, uh, it was a concert and the, the stage was well lit, but the faces were so dark you couldn't possibly see them um, and that was allowed. So um, for the most part, just don't do faces. And they're tricky. Uh, you might take a picture of a landmark and not realize that Bob is standing down there by the base of it looking at you. <laughs> it happens all the time. Um, the photo must not violate anyone's privacy. This one's tricky, too. You're going to have to think about it. Uh, one time I took a picture of my front yard and it got rejected because my street sign was there. License plates. No license plates. Uh, just today we decided that uh, airplane numbers identification numbers are allowed because they're not usually tied to a person's home but rather an airport and they're publicly used um but think about whether or not you could figure out who someone is or where they live or what they do or something like that uh this does not mean you can't have street signs so like if you're downtown and it's the corner of leonard and miller that's not somebody's house it's just a street um and you're not tying it to a person or anything. So uh, that would that would work. Must not be a variation of something you've published or currently waiting moderation on the site. Um, this one's tricky, too, because you can actually take a picture of the same thing twice. But what they don't want is to take a picture of it and take one step to the left and get another picture. Um, they're near identical. But if you took the uh, took a picture of the same tree, but one at morning and one at evening, that's quite different. The lighting's all different. Everything's different. So that works. And the photo must not prominently feature branding or clearly branded products. Um, this does not mean that you can't take a picture of a street and there's a McDonald's sign, because that's just part of it. Um, the thing that that kicked this off is somebody took a picture of. Um, a knife that was used for cutting mushrooms. So it's got a cool curved blade. And it had a big old logo right on the blade. And it was kind of the only thing in the picture. And it looked like a product photo from for that knife. And we said, no, that's not going to work. Um, so those are the rules. Uh, moderation. Submissions are held in moderation until the photo director and moderators until reviewed by photo director and moderators for compliance. You can only upload five at a time. And then once they're approved, well, even if one is approved, then you can upload one more. But uh, no more than five at a time. You'll get an email letting you know if your submission was approved or not. If it's not, it usually has a reason. And uh, occasionally, the reason will say something like, um, fix this and resubmit and we'll accept. I do that. Fairly often. Um, there was a really beautiful one yesterday. It was a deeply shadowed picture of a child walking up a, uh, like a, a tunnel to get from one street to another. And you couldn't see her face. There was no way at all. 
but in the deep shadows next to her was a scooter without a license plate. It was really hard to see, but you could read the numbers. So I had to let it go. But if they blurted out, I would take it because it was, it was great. Um, we actually, we don't reject pictures of people. We reject pictures of faces, but because it's so hard to get them, get people without faces, there aren't very many. Uh, so I actually personally really value photos of people that don't include faces. All right, so I'm going to go back here, and we're going to look at the submission form real quick because the rules are here also. Um, let me make this a little bigger. So you have to be logged in. Uh, anyone logged in can do this. There's no other requirement. Um, you upload a photo, and you put in alternative text, and this is kind of important. Uh, we did a poor job at the very beginning of the project thinking of this as alternative text. This is what you would write in to describe your picture for a blind person. And so it doesn't work to simply put in the name of the landmark that you're taking a picture of uh, because they don't know what that is. They don't live in your country or culture or anything. And so um, rather than um, – boy uh, – Today was a, a famous beach that I saw one, and it just said such and such beach. And it didn't say anything at all about the cool water corroded rocks on the side that reached up hundreds of feet with the sandy beach in front with the car tires on it because people drive on the beach. And so as a moderator, I fixed that. But uh, as moderators, we would really love it if you did good descriptive text. And it doesn't have to be too long, just a couple sentences. Um, I'm not looking for the history of that monument. Um, just there, pretend there's a blind person standing next to you and you're explaining to them what you see. And here are the rules again. Um, new submitters have to check every single box. Once you have submitted a certain number of photos, I think it's 50, this top one gets added in. And you can magically check them all at once. Um, but until then, you have to you have to say every time I agree to all this stuff. Um, so I'm going to upload one now. Let's see. Oh, I need to go over here. And this is a photo I took just this morning of my city. Uh, let's see, I want to type Grand Rapids, Michigan, and try to avoid the use of colors. Um, blind people don't care. So rather than say a blue sky, I'm going to say partly cloudy sky because there are some clouds. Partly cloudy sky with... Um, The Grand River. Whoop. Come on. In the center. Brightly painted. This is edging with colors, but um, I want to indicate that it's uh, vibrant, bright. The parking lot there. Brightly painted parking lot. And I'm going to confirm and submit. And it takes a, just a second. Um, it's possible on low bandwidth for this to time out before your photo is completely up to uploaded. And it might get, it might be blank in the moderation queue. If that happens, we'll try to let you know. So I have one right here. And um, as moderators, we can't moderate our own, so I couldn't go moderate this. Um, let's go back. So this is the main photo directory. And when you click one, you get a variety of things here. In the top, we can see that this is Manx. And if we click that, it goes back to his list. Uh, of just his, um, 
we click his name again, it goes to his WordPress profile. While we're here, we can click download and get a variety of sizes of this image. If you click the image itself, it loads just that image uh, in original size. And then down at the bottom is the alternative text. And you can see he did a pretty good job with the alt text, looking down from a plane at a city on the ground. I, I, the I added the alt text. He just had view from the <laughs> top. <laughs> so Wait, I, just so... not, I edited it to be an actual description of the good. photo. Yep. Uh, tell me tell me what it was originally again. It was um, something like beautiful, beautiful sky view of a city. And I was like, yeah. yeah. Not or okay. it's a, something like it was very non-descriptive, and I so I actually yeah. asked him. I said, "In the future, when you do this, please describe it as though you were ex explaining it to a blind person." <laughs> yeah. So Michelle did a great job with the alternative text here. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are. He's a, a taxonomy. For, That's why I was able to ask him. Oh, good. For some reason, yeah. There's a taxonomy for colors. Um, this one has only gray. It's probably proper. Um, nature photos are almost always blue, green, and brown. Uh, so we get a lot of those. But if you click gray, then these are all going to be gray, theoretically. And every animal gets tagged as a fawn, but that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, categories, architecture, nature, and transportation. These are limited. There's only like nine categories. So it doesn't get too crazy. Um, tags, there could be anything. Uh, moderators get to tag them whatever they want. You get to see how big it is, the orientation, when it was published. On the right, if the information comes through from the camera, you get to see some information about that. And then at the bottom, there's an attribution box. Now, CC0 does not require attribution. But if you do it, you're cool. <laughs> so it's polite to say, I, I took this photo from this project. And you can get it HTML, plain text, or rich text. And then there's the, the licensing again for it. Um, so that's, <laughs> we'll just join in, we're about done. Um, that's pretty much it. The uh, photo library is divided into groups of everyone and then individual people and then uh, taxonomies of color, category, and tag. Uh, we covered the restrictions and the license. Uh, if you want to know more about CC0, you can click right here, and it goes to Creative Commons. Um, oh, I want to show you one more thing. Um, where's Openverse? Yes, Openverse is a search engine. It is not a place to upload photos. It is, it is a place to find them, and it searches a whole bunch of different sources and the WP photos project happens to be one of those sources. So I'm going to do Grand Rapids, Michigan and see if any of mine show up because I've done a bunch, but not recently. Nope. Search, None of those Mont are mine. Search Montezuma and see if any of mine show up because I've posted a bunch from there. Um, I've heard it takes like a couple weeks. Anything you recognize? Um, yeah, quite a few actually. Like that one on the right in the, in the middle there, that's from the Montezuma Wildlife Refuge, I think. This one? No, the one above it. It could be wrong though. It's hard to tell. Uh, no, that's from that's WWW78. Me. Yeah, that's not me. Um, but eventually your photos get in here. And people use them from all over the world. You will notice right. that when you search there, you do see faces. That's because that's also pulling from other libraries besides the WordPress photo directory. We don't yes. allow faces. Other directories might, but we don't. Yep. Doesn't stop people from uploading selfies. <laughs> we don't put them through. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. I'm looking through and I see a few questions. Um, why the photo structure is necessary to create as there's so many best and popular photo repository. 
a couple of reasons. Um, one is it's fun and cool. <laughs> um, I had actually planned to do this for Hero Breast before it was announced that this happened, uh, just because it's fun and cool. But another really big one is that um, this photo directory can now be accessed from within WordPress itself. Um, by default, if you're using Gutenberg and in the top left, you click the blue plus, there's an option for uh, patterns and media. And one of the media items is the WP Photos project. And you can search for images right from there. Another one is if you're using Jetpack and you click to add a featured image, it will ask you if you want to do it from your media library or from here. And so having our own makes it a lot easier to integrate with WordPress itself. And the more photos we have, the, the better it is, the more useful it is. And so we really want people to add as many as they can so that it can be more useful. Do we have any more questions? Um, I didn't lock down audio. You're welcome to unmute and just ask if you want or put them in chat. Either is fine. Yeah, because I see um the last the last um note there. We do have more moderators that have joined, but for a while there were basically only four of us that were moderating photos, and Topher and I were doing the lion's share of them. So it might have taken earlier on up to a week or more to get some photos moderated, especially when we'd have three or four hundred come in in a day. Um, yeah, <laughs> and we do get some spikes like that after like word camps and things like that. But uh, we have more moderators now, so they are getting there. There's fewer than 20 uh, awaiting moderation right now. So we are getting to them much more quickly. And if you do have photos in there and none of us have had a chance to look in the um, you can always ping, you know, just post in the photos um, Slack channel that you've got some in there. And if anybody has an opportunity and that'll just prompt us to go and take a look if we've been busy. So we're always happy to do that. All right, let's see. Are there any photos missing? More people without faces, sports, vehicles, and whatever. Uh, yes, I have something I can pull up here, I think. You have the link for Mark's or for Marcus's thing? Yeah. I don't have it anymore, but <laughs> my computer's running slow. Let's see. Sports is definitely one of the lower numbers that's in there. We got, Sports I think, nature interiors. is the highest. What's the highest? Nature, I think, is the highest. Yeah. Most popular categories is nature. Least is athletics, then fashion, mm -hmm. then people. I'm surprised how many interiors they are. there are. I thought that was really low. Um, every time I moderate one that's inside, I click interiors. Mm -mm. Patterns is low. Um, but, uh, these are good stats. Here's the most popular colors. Green by far. Least is violet. <laughs> yeah. Um, photo number 8,000 was the kittens. Hmm. We can't um, share that link because it's proprietary to Marcus's um, account. Sorry. Yeah. I think photo number one was you, Michelle, wasn't it? Or was that uh, Scott? I I don't think it was me, but they used like 50 or 60 of my photos to, to pepper into the, to get it started. Yeah, it wasn't mine, but if you go to the first couple pages of them, you'll see a ton of my photos, that's for sure. Yeah. I had one that was um a marker. I don't remember which one. And none of mine are apparently, might but have been, might have been this flower. But I do have a ton in there. Not as many as you, because I don't just walk around all day just taking pictures, but in directory. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I do. I walk around all day taking pictures. <laughs> you have a lot of photos in there though. <laughs> Yeah, part of that is because I've been waiting for something like this for years, and I had 500 photos just waiting to be uploaded. 
Well, now I gotta look and see how many do I have. Hold on. It'll tell you here in a second. I have 243. Oh, nice. There are people with a lot more than me, that's for sure. Um, Folks, if you come to the week or monthly, weekly, monthly photos meeting, uh, we always do stats. And this is the page that they come from. So if you're wondering where we get those stats, you'll know. And you can see up here there are currently 18 pending. Uh, there are 1,302 rejected ever. Um, 689 since the last meeting. That doesn't seem right. We had the last meeting like three days ago. And rejected since the last meeting, 200. I bet Marcus needs to reset those. Sounds like a... It's not fun rejecting photos, but it's important to keep the integrity of the directory at a high level. Yeah. And something I'd like to point out is that um, I've never seen anybody try to be naughty, like upload porn just to be stupid. No, I've seen but some we people... have seen, seen people upload images that weren't theirs. Yep. A lot of that. Um, I, I kind of count that as ignorance. We've had a few people upload headshots of themselves, uh, like their business card. Um, no, sir, that's not allowed. <laughs> we had one, um, uh, one uh, construction company try to upload commercials. Yep. Like photos right. with descriptions and that kind of thing. Here we go. Um, so there's 1,223 contributors. Top camera models, uh, the iPhone mini, the Icon D7200. Pixel 6, Pixel 3, iPhone 13, iPhone 11. So it's kind of a, well, I guess there are only a couple of pixels. But there's a good mix between phones and, and DSLRs and pixels and uh, Android and iPhone. And then by brand, um, I think this is really interesting that Apple is so far down in the brand list. Oh, they're not ordered by number. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I don't know what they're ordered by. Apple is pretty high. Um, yeah, weird. And then in top left, number of photos. And there's Michelle with 243. Hey, it was a who... comparison to your 785. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who 9688619 is. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't see any questions in the chat. I haven't heard any, so I'm going to wrap this up. I made a recording. should be available relatively soon. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for doing this, Topher.